All right, so we're testing uh, exposure time, <clears throat> and I'm going to do a 50-second exposure of M27 with the Skywatcher EQM35 with a rough polar alignment and one star auto align. So we're counting down here. We got five seconds till it starts to take the shot here. I'm using um Canon EOS utility, which is free with any Canon that you buy. You could download it. Sorry about the noise. So I got the settings at 1600 ISO. Now I do have a good size moon out tonight, so it is, uh, I am getting some moon glow. Hopefully the picture won't be too washed out. I'm just checking for star trails, mainly. So there's the 50 seconds. Close that. We'll bring up the Canon folder and see what it looks like. Here we go. And this is M27. It's right here. Uh, the go to wasn't as accurate as I would like it to be. It doesn't put M27 in the center of the frame, but with the 90 millimeter short tube refractor um, f5 it's well within the field of view and it looks like i get some sorry about the noise again looks like i'm getting some some slight trails here on the corner so let's check some of these so some of the brighter stars look to be nice and tight but it looks like there's a bit of star trailing going on not too much but 50 seconds seems to be the max unguided with a rough polar alignment all right so um out here with the skywatcher eqm 35 just testing how well it tracks the moon and stuff like that i got it collect connected to the um next image 5 from celestron and I'm using a uh, sharp cap to look around. I like some of the some of the options sharp cap <clears throat> gives you over uh, Celestron's version, which is um, iCap. Which iCap seems to be a bit easier to use sometimes, but sharp cap just gives you so much more. So uh, I'd have to adjust some of the exposure for that. So I've been um I've been sitting here looking at the same spot for a few minutes now. I did a rough polar alignment with the polar scope and a a two star auto align. Um, the go to is not as accurate as I would like it to be, and we'll test that here. But we seem to be tracking the moon fairly well. It seems to be doing a good job at tracking. I think I'm going to take a picture of this real quick. Let me capture this.
So I was able to get well over a thousand frames. And it focuses pretty hard. 